fish and chips is such a popular dish here on Delmarva. You can find it in many restaurants. And today we're learning how to make it in your kitchen. And here to show us how are Chef Travis Todd and Laura Todd from Ocean Odyssey in Cambridge. Thanks for joining us yeah, this afternoon. Absolutely. Thanks fish for and us. chips. Can't wait to try this out. But first of all, tell me, what do we need? What are our ingredients? Uh, very simple stuff. We, we try to come up with a way that anybody can do this, like mm -hmm. you said, in their home. And really all <laughs> we're going to be using is just an all-purpose flour, an egg, uh, panko breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. uh, which we really like because it's got a nice crunch. Um, potatoes, water, salt. Mayonnaise. Uh, yep. Mayonnaise, and ketchup, okay. chili or hot sauce, oh, lemon. Okay. All right, well, let's get started. Oil. You're going to put me the star me of the show. Oh, yeah, let's fish. talk about the star of the show. This is a catfish, but this is no normal catfish, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. So this is a blue catfish, which is an invasive species to Maryland, uh -huh. which sounds scary. It sounds like something's wrong with the fish, but it's not. It just means that it's not our native cat. Okay. That being said, this guy is... A, a survivalist. Monster. It's a survivalist. <laughs> it, so it, it eats it, all the other it fish? Does. It is eating everything out there and it's essentially taking over our native species. So oh. there's no better way to get a fish to disappear than to get people hungry. All for right. It. So we're going to eat some to exactly. get rid of them. Okay. So what do we do first? <laughs> all right. So basically what you're going to do, you see our section here? Uh -huh. You want to cut pieces about that large. Okay. So you're going to take this guy. Uh -oh. All right. Yep. And just cut that down two fillets about that size. Okay, does it matter? Do I start on the end? Mm. Or? You can start wherever you want. Okay. It's going to work either way. <laughs> and Laura, if you'd like to go ahead and start making the sauce. The yes, sauce we're sir. making is a variation of a Mary Rose sauce, which is a it's a sauce that I first came across when I was in Old Town Alexandria, uh, one of my favorite fish and chip places called uh -huh. Amon's. Uh, so they're just great and kind of inspired me to go all over Dublin and eat fish. I eat fish and chips for a week and a half in Oh Dublin my goodness, just, really? Uh, I, yeah, I just think it's phenomenal. Okay, so um, I have this I have this all cut, so what yeah, do we do okay, now? Yeah, okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to dip the top side only in the flour. Top side only the in the flour. Yep, and then the panko. And then the egg. Yeah, so the thing about this blue catfish is it's one of the very few species that it, it just thrives and thrives and thrives, so you don't have to worry about overfishing. Okay, top side down? That. Yep, top side down. You don't have to worry about overfishing this fish, which is great, because there's uh -huh. so many species right now that are on the brink of extinction or having a hard time getting their populations up. So this guy, eat as much of this stuff as you and can. And it's delicious. It's still it really delicious, is. isn't it? And what's different about, you know, some people think catfish and they think, oh, it's going to be a muddy flavor. Mm -hmm. or, oh, I'm not going to like it. Well, this fish eats other fish. So ah. the meat, the meat and the flavor is entirely different consistency, entirely different flavor. All right, watch how easy this is. So okay. all, that's all we've done is flour, egg, and panko. Okay. Now you're going to mm -hmm. do is put a little bit of oil in a hot pan uh -huh. and just go ahead and drop that in just there. Just drop both of them yep. in there? You got it. Okay. Very Ooh. good. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. All we've done is we've just peeled and cut russet potatoes. Okay. We've boiled them for about seven minutes until a fork goes through so that they're soft. Uh huh. And then you just let them dry in a colander. Uh huh. You don't even have to refrigerate them or anything. Oh, okay. Look, look how quick this happens. Oh, See that wow, color it is. Now, how long do you cook it each side? Do you, do you uh, say? Well, basically what you're going to do is you're going to start it in the pan like we just did. And once you get your color there, you flip it so that that stops. You don't want to burn your panko up. Right. You just want a little bit of goldenness. And then what you're going to do is once it releases itself from that pan, uh -huh. just put it in the hot oven. Oh, okay. Okay. Until it's about pork tender? Um, well, you want the best thing to do actually is just to get a meat thermometer. Uh -huh. Everybody should have one of these in the kitchen. It's a really handy uh -huh. tool. And you want to cook your fish to about 135 or 140 and pull it out. Uh -huh. And it's going to continue to raise a couple degrees oh, after gotcha. that. So yeah, one of the few things that people do when they're cooking fish is they overcook it. And that's why they say it tastes Fishy. fishy. Yeah, but it does, that's, you know, that okay. doesn't have to happen. So all really, right. that's about it. That's really all that has to happen in the pan. Okay, well, while you're getting right that all ready to put in the oven, I'll uh -huh. let you know there are several ways you can get the shopping list and instructions on how to make this recipe. You can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page or give us a call, 443-880-9116. Make sure you note that you would like the recipe for the pan-fried mm. fish and chips. And, and you have that in the oven at what temperature? Uh, 375 is fine. Yeah, you can do it on any temperature you want. It's just a matter of getting that. It's a small fillet, so mm -hmm. it's not going to take long. Just any type of heat is good. 350, and, and about And the meat thermometer should say what? The meat thermometer, you want it to be about 135, 135. when you pull it out, maybe up to 140. I wouldn't go past that. All right. Um, 
guess yeah. that. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait any longer. So I'm going to go ahead. We have one that's done because I just don't want to burn my yeah. mouth. <laughs> so do you suggest I, ta I, I dip it in the sauce? Yes. Okay. It's a lovely, Absolutely. tangy, I just flavorful, yummy seafood sauce. Have you know, sauce. I love, yes, that yeah. you made, Laura. I love catfish to yummy. begin with, though. Well, there you go. So to see the flavor is a little more... A little sweeter, you don't get kind of that, that is delicious. muddy flavor as some people sometimes right. say. Thank you so much, yeah, Laura, absolutely. Travis, and thanks for watching Del Marva Live. Be sure to join us tomorrow, Father's Day is this weekend. How about a day of pampering and relaxation for Dad? He deserves it. From a hydrotherapy bath to relax him to a massage to relieve sore muscles. We'll show you why a spa day is not just for the ladies. And speaking of feeling good, we know physical therapy works on people but what about animals, from dogs to horses, even bulls? Find out how it works and why it's even being done in the first place. Also tomorrow, how often do you wash your jeans? Well, let's take it a step further. Should you even wash your jeans at all? We'll take a look at both sides of the bait so you can decide what's best for your denim. Plus, Baseball Hall of Famer Mookie Wilson drops in to talk about some of his most memorable moments on the diamond. He'll even weigh in on what he thinks about the state of baseball today. And don't forget, if you missed any of today's information, just go to WBOC.com and click on the picture, our picture on the top of the page. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Now don't go anywhere. WBOC News at 6 starts right now. I want more. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>